Trigonometric phase shifts. Trigonometric functions can shift vertically and horizontally. We will look at the different components that lend themselves to the shifts of the trigonometric functions. There are six basic trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, and cotangent. Each function has a basic graph. However, we can shift these basic graphs upwards, downwards, left, and right. A phase shift identifies the horizontal, left and right, shift of a function. A vertical shift refers to the vertical, up and down, shift of a function. To begin shifting trigonometric functions, write the trigonometric function in a specific manner. By writing the function in this format, we can easily identify the components of a phase shift or vertical shift. f of t represents the trigonometric function. a represents the amplitude of the function. b represents the frequency of the function. c represents the phase shift of the function. d represents the vertical shift of the function. For this specific concept, we will focus on the components C and D. Let's take a closer look at each of these components. For the phase shift, the constant C moves the function to the left or to the right C units on the coordinate grid when B equals 1. If the horizontal shift is positive, the function shifts to the right. If the horizontal shift is negative, the function shifts to the left. Note that this occurs only when b equals 1. This is the basic sine function, which is represented by the function y equals sine of x. If we are given the function y equals sine of the quantity x minus pi over 4, the function on the screen, c equals pi over 4. Since pi over 4 is positive, the sine function shifts to the right pi over 4 units. This means that the graph of this function shifts pi over 4 units to the right. We can see this phase shift on the graph on the screen. Let's look at another example. This picture represents the basic cosine function. This function is represented by the function given, which is y equals cosine of x. In the function, y equals cosine of the quantity x plus pi over 2, c equals negative pi over 2. We have to rewrite the function in the same format as the basic function. Rewrite the function as y equals cosine of the quantity x minus negative pi over 2. Since pi over 2 is negative with the rewritten function, the cosine function shifts to the left pi over 2 units. This means that the graph of the function shifts pi over 2 units to the left. We can see this phase shift on the graph on the screen. Let's look at another example. This picture represents the basic cosine function. This function is represented by the function given, which is y equals cosine of x. If we are given the function, y equals cosine of x minus 6, we can rewrite the function to represent the basic function. Rewritten, we have y equals cosine of x plus negative 6. With this function, d equals negative 6. Since 6 is negative, the sine function shifts down by 6 units. This means that the graph of this function shifts downwards by 6 units. We can see this vertical shift on the graph on the screen. Vertical and horizontal shifts of trigonometric functions can be done by placing the function in the correct form. If we place the function in this formula, we can easily shift the six basic trig functions horizontally and vertically on a coordinate grid. Use the value of c when b equals 1 to move the graphs left and right. Use the value of D to move the graphs up and down.